those delegates are here for the cultural and social dialogue. Uh, Henry Kissinger, who knows a thing or two about diplomacy and a thing or two about dialogue, after all, he's been to China more than 100 times. He said these kinds of conversations uh, between these two countries, they're going to set the tone for the next few generations. And we're talking about a new world order between these two countries who need to uh, indulge, or I say indulge, who need to develop some co-evolution. So there is great importance placed upon this. You might think that the geopolitics uh, overshadows it, but it's conversations like this which both the Chinese and the US leadership uh, believe brings these two countries together at a time when their relationship has often been very fractious. One of the things that was interesting to hear was Vice Premier Liu Landong, the highest, the most senior Chinese woman, talking in Washington early this week. She talked about this relationship between the US and China in terms of the next 50 years. And I think this is very much the Chinese viewpoint, looking at the world through a long-term lens, not just these short-term discussions.